All right, so now we're gonna look in the, we're gonna do an unbagging, because this is just, like I said, this very small expansion for Fire in the Lake Trung, the card-based non-player update. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. It's just a simple deck of cards and the rules of play. And I'm sure there's some reference cards available to us as well. And this one will just fit in the main game box here. So to start with, you get the rules of play, how to how to uh, install it, or how to install it, how to include it into your game. It's a very short, short eight page little reference. Um, introduction and components, Chung is an updated non-player system replacing the system included in Fire of the Lake base game. A deck of cards, several non-player, several player aid tables replace the flowcharts of the original non-player factions. Trung is named in honor of Trung Trok and Trung Nij. I am Ni. I am very sorry. I'm pronouncing these wrong. I'm sure. Trung Ni. Two sisters who briefly freed Vietnam from Chinese occupation in the first century uh, A.D. Um, this rule book explains how to use the provided cards and charts to play Fire in the Lake against non-player opponents. So all trung rules are preceded with a T. So these, this book is section T1, T2, T3, T4. Not to be confused with Terminator movies. I'll be back. How to set them up, sequence of play, how to use the cards, the activation numbers, etc., etc., etc. And then we've got a rules review here as well. So with that, then we've got a, another reference booklet that gives us the sections T6 through T10, which is operations, special activities, events, non-player examples of play, and design notes. And this is a little bit later, bigger at 20 pages. Obviously it's gonna have examples of play. Operations reference, it's a little more dense text-wise, not a lot of Graphics here, I'm sure the examples of play, yeah, here's the non-player example of play on page six. Going forward, and they've got a, definitely a lot more graphics to reflect that and further explain what's going on. Coup round. And the designer's notes. So yeah, this was designed by Bruce Mansfield and developed by Jason Carr of the GMT-1 uh, initiative that's that's adapting a lot of single player uh, rules to games, so it's very much appreciated. Then we've got the Trung non-player aid cards. You get, it's like one of those. It's a double, double width, full color. Tells you about the different factions, their move priorities, what they want to do here. So you still have to, you know, you'll have to draw their card and then still kind of like deduce from the board what they're actually going to do but that's not that big a deal to most gamers and here's the event cards and how they apply they're critical they're performed they don't execute it they execute the shaded text they execute the unshaded text or see the event instruction table and these these charts here they're space selection priorities in case you can't read it so what the faction is going to choose the best of those. And then we've got the coup round instructions, and then these are the event instructions that are referenced here as well. If certain cards come up, and only certain cards are listed as well. And then we've got the deck of cards. All right, so there's a little mini deck for each faction. So here's six cards for the US, and then I'm assuming it's six cards. They go through US A through F, and then G continues here, so instead of Arvin A through whatever it's. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, six cards for Arvin. One, two, three, four, five, six cards for the NBA. And one, two, three, four, five, six cards for the VC. All right, yep. And then you, so you're gonna shuffle and you'll draw a card for that faction. And they are marked, oh, well, no, we've got, they're double-sided. So they're not, 
unmarked as to what they are. Interesting. So you're going to shuffle them blindly, I guess, and then draw them and uh, follow this flowchart for these factions, depending on which card comes up. So it kind of mixes it up a little bit instead of having to constantly reassess the same board situation all the time. There's a closer look at some of the cards in the flowcharts. So I'm going to reveal them all because you need to buy the expansion. So in the Fire in the Lake Trung Bot expansion, you are going to get those four factions times six, 24 uh, bot cards, a couple of reference cards to tell you how to make the decisions that you need to make for the bot. You're gonna get the eight page rules of play, the 20 page reference booklet. And that is everything in that expansion. Oh!